Stealing a police car is one of the riskiest things you can attempt, with any wrong move resulting in certain jail time. So what does it look like when stealing a cop car goes horribly <laughs> wrong? So you leave the keys in the car. Good sticks. Well, Today we cover exclusive body cam footage of the few times this has happened. Starting with the case of a man named Mr. Sanchez in Colorado. Police whoa. say he had been purposefully causing accidents and crashing into multiple other vehicles in the area. So they gathered a team of officers and tried to take him down. They don't really got a car thief. Uh, uh, speed limit 28. Speed limit 28. 28, bro. Oh, there we go. That's when I guess you need it, right? That's Using innocent a technique people. called the pit maneuver or the precision immobilization technique, the cops are able to spin Sanchez's vehicle around and completely stop him in his tracks. Well, then they rush in to arrest him. But this is yes. far from where the story ends. He's like, what the? F you know what I'm saying? shot at me, and I don't know what the. On. Wow. Sanchez frankly looks scared and confused and even claims he's got no idea what's going on or what he did wrong. But that might at least explain what he does next. He said his girlfriend shot at him? In the back of the patrol vehicle, he manages to bring his handcuffed arms under his legs so that they're in front of him and proceeds to do this. Wow. You know, he wasn't drunk. You, you, we've seen this video before, you know, uh, with Donovan or... or um. He tried to do that, but he was drunk and stuff like that. But he just did it just to do it because he wasn't thinking. This dude is not drunk, man, or nothing. He he knows what he's doing, man. He's an escape artist. He's a magician, bro. Oh, let's go. Wow. Is he going to go to the back of the trunk? Oh, he's going to get the police officer, bro. I <laughs> know he did. He took the car. <laughs> I thought there was a police officer inside. Into the front of the patrol Everybody. and simply drives away. For some reason, the car didn't have a partition between the front and the back and evidently oh, has the keys ready in the ignition. And what's worse, the police had Ooh. left a service rifle on the passenger seat of his new ride, so he was now speeding away. Armed. Armed. In a and dangerous, bro. I need his Probably trying to get away from his door. Hey, Yo, I gotta say right now, man, if his girlfriend was really trying to shoot at him, he, he probably just don't know what to do no, no more. And he's just trying to get away, you know? Unless he's just the person that makes up excuses to try to get away from the law. What y'all think, man? Because he did say his girlfriend was trying to shoot at him. Or shot at him, right? The rifle is in the vehicle, passing the 390. That boy's... 123. He's in a cop car. They're supposed to be fast. Set their focus to stopping the vehicle. The longer he's driving Whoa. like this, the more danger he's putting Spikes. civilians in. He's currently driving over 120 miles an hour down That's public bad, roads yo. at 11 a.m. If this that. is allowed to continue any longer, many lives will be put at risk. So the cops aim to put stop tricks or stickers so. in place. Strips of spikes that puncture the tires and stop the vehicle in its tracks. The only issue is that Sanchez is a better driver than they realize. Oh, the boy guys, gameplay. He got a lot of time playing games. He's speed. You missed him. He dope. He's coming up right now, and I'll come up behind him. Missed it. Sanchez. I mean, that is like a player game, man. You can see it coming up. I mean, the police is right there. Yeah, it's just that they can put something on the floor. Oh. was able to avoid the stop sticks not once but twice, twice and boys. continues to speed down the freeway at increasingly that's dangerous fast speeds. man that is dangerous however the cops know exactly Poor where people. he's going and if they keep at it this method will eventually work of what course seem to forget though is that taking out a car's tires at 120 Ooh. miles an hour is an incredibly dangerous feat in its own right they got him down they got him down about to get him. He's probably gonna crash into another car. Oh, yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. I knew it, bros. Woo! I don't think my boy's with us anymore. That was an 18. Yeah, Sanchez crashed into a parked semi truck at over a hundred miles an hour, and after being wow and taken to the hospital, he was pronounced dead. Luckily, uh, 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 yeah, y'all see how fast it was, man. I mean, he did it to himself, you guys.
So don't don't try to do stupid things like that, man. You feel me? Uh, this guy, I'm I'm sure he, yeah, but he's gonna have to go get checked, man. He probably like, if he didn't have diabetes, he probably got diabetes now or some type of illness, man. Cause that's scary, bros. There was other cars parked too. Hopefully, people weren't in there, man. I guess it was just he ran into it. 18, man. Only the semi truck driver sustained no injuries and nobody else was hurt. Oh, look at the car! It did come close. This pursuit was allowed to go on for wow. much longer than it should have been. But it's astonishing that it was even able to happen in the first place. And the same goes for our next case. This time. What's sad, man, is that this dude. I don't know what he. I don't think he was right in his mind. We don't know if really his girl shot him or not or tried to shoot him. But he escaped to escape to another place another planet y'all that was his destiny to no longer be walking upon us earthlings and he chose to rise up and never come back i'm in oklahoma good thing you know he didn't like hit somebody else whoa that boy March took 30th, off 2018 a woman Dude, oklahoma. was driving a car that had been reported stolen and when she was pulled over and questioned about it she had this to say i'm borrowing from stephen curtis he told me that i could borrow it oh he, okay I swear I did not steal this she asked permission. How long has Steven had it? He picked me up today. Um, I, have you friend. seen him in it before? Yes. Do you know how he got it? No. I, he... You know, not thinking about this man, when I was younger, I had this girlfriend, not like girlfriend, but a friend that didn't like this girl. They had problems and she let her borrow the car, but then called the cops and it got stolen from a friend that she just took the keys and stuff like that. So people get, you, you know what I'm saying? People get set up, man. They get, they get get set up and get into some trouble, man. And if they ain't got no proof that they actually let them borrow the car, it's, it's the owner's word against that person, man. But eventually we kind of like talked to the friend saying, hey, man, you, you can't do that. So like they dropped, she dropped the charges, but that was messed up. I'm not trying to give tips, man. I'm just saying what happened. He bought it. Don't take my tips. I'm going to have to go to jail and pay the price for it. The police know this car was stolen because it flagged up on their system. They know without a doubt that somebody had reported it as missing, but they didn't know exactly who took it. This oh. is why they have to assume it's Angie. She was the one driving it at the time and claims the previous owner bought it straight from the dealership. And given that she has a track record, it's safe to assume she's lying about something. Oh, no. She has a track record. Without permission, okay? It was reported as stolen. Oh, pride girl. Hug her, dude. Give her a hug. So, poor girl. possession of it. Yep. Know, Not to mention, your driving status is flat. Oh. You're not even supposed to be driving, so you're going to jail. Please, so I, 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 do. I work with them. Please, I worked with them on um, 11 Things Arnett with uh, murders and the whole prostitution thing. Mm -hmm. um, the, what? Uh, Secret Service with the counterfeiting. Whoa. Whoa. Please, I oh. this she, she works with all them? Like, how does that work? I thought it was supposed to be a certain... You know, place only like compartment. Like, <laughs> that girl watches too much YouTube. And all that stuff. I will work with you guys. You know what? I didn't you know what? It's stolen. <laughs> Angie then tells the officers that she's in regular contact with the captain at another police department working as an informant. Wow. And give them information on local drug dealers. But obviously that doesn't excuse her of what she's doing here. So this, 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 this she feels like she's getting like tortured or something, man, that she needs to spill anything she can spill to get away, man. Talk about, wow, she about to tell her the cousin and the brother. Like, oh, they got it under the bed, man. Y'all get, get, get me out, you know? <laughs> wow. Untrustful person, you guys. You know? So avoid these type of people down in a patrol vehicle Please. while they continue the investigation. But for some reason, they decide to put her in the front passenger oh, seat no. of a oh, police no. car. So oh no! Oh no! A car thief would realize instantly. He's probably spend the rest of my shift trying because I think this is all gonna blow, be a bunch of BS anyway. Well, and they're they're right next to her too. They're like watching her like move around and stuff. Like, oh, this is a fail. It's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta laugh. <laughs> this is so dumb. David 136, suspect just stole my vehicle. Imagine. Bound on Memorial. 
<laughs> Angie simply shoots over to the driver's seat, locks the door, and speeds away without a moment. I was gonna say, imagine all uh, it's around 1 a.m. So co workers, remember when they stole the your car? But nevertheless, <laughs> the speeds of up to 90 miles an hour Whoa. Angie is finding herself at are still extremely dangerous in such a residential area. She's not okay, so you guys. You can tell she's not okay. Immediately. She, like, she got problems, bro. Hopefully, she don't end up like the one before, you feel me? To another place, not Earth. And it's nighttime too. Oh, that's her on the car driving. Oh no, oh, no. never mind. They're, they're chasing her. She's rolling with the sirens too. Oh no. She's going to streets, bro. The situation she's found herself in, Angie turns off the main road and onto a smaller side road. And this turns out to be her downfall. Oh. That's hard, you, right? Yeah, yeah. Apartments, bro. You can't get on them, bro. Cornered, Angie realizes her only option is to bail from the vehicle and sprint away. But the cops are trained for situations just like this. That's she good. She's no longer in a car. Out of their grasp for long, especially while she's handcuffed. Uh, seriously, I was thinking she's gonna was gonna like end up crashing really bad, like the other dude that's no longer with us. But it's good that she decided to get out the car and not hurt nobody. Now she's just trying to become the escape expert. You see how good she is on running and not driving. There she is. They seen her, boys. They seen her. She's trying to hide in the bushes. Oh, she's going up the stairs. They got her. Oh, she's crying. Whoa. She's been a bad girl. She knows. She knows. She can't cooperate with them no more, you guys. She done threw the deal at the table, man. She said, I don't want these conflicts. I don't like the milk. I want something else. Oh, please. Took the car. It's an adrenaline rush Angie was after. She sure got it. Yeah, but that did. also comes coupled with a considerably larger sentence Ooh. than she was originally facing. And the cops Long made list. sure to let her know how bad of an idea that really was. I've seen some stupid stuff, but my gosh. Angie hit a car with it. You guys told me. That told I was you. Going to jail for something that I did not do. You just stole a police car. Now I'm going to jail for something I did. Well. Oh. oh. She wanted to make sure she wanted to jail for something she did, man. That did not make any sense in my brain. Like, what would you do that? I guess she's really trying to get like a case on her. She could have like, if she really didn't do that, they probably dropped it at the court or something, you know? But we know she did. Silver linings. At least she was right about the prison part, as after a fairly short trial where she pleaded guilty, Angie was sentenced to three years behind bars. Both three of these years. cases so far involved away a from a car, making a last-ditch effort to set themselves free. But what happens when instead of the thief, it's just someone looking for a good time? Our joyrider in this case is a <laughs> woman named Destiny, and she wasn't even involved Smiling. with the original call. A single officer was called to the side of the road on a civil dispute involving a taxi driver allegedly stealing a customer's property. But out of nowhere, oh. the cop is alerted to something strange that was happening to his car. Once you find out who it is and, and go through that. Oh, what? What? Six, six oh four no. Who did that? Six someone took off. <laughs> so it was a random per well, she was a random person just got in the car and took off while the guy was trying to like talk to the taxi guy. What? <laughs> The cop is understandably shocked. He's never been in this situation right? like this, and they definitely don't train for it. I'd be like, he can do his radio in a description and ask for a pickup. Watch out! He can help take the joyrider down. Joyrider on Miranda's pedestrian sober. I was talking to the gentleman at the bus stop. She got in the driver's seat and took off northbound on Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's there's GPS. As the woman points out, most, if not all, police vehicles are yes. with a GPS tracker that dispatch uses to help coordinate things back at base. Now, all it comes down to is a giant game of cat and mouse across Detroit. The cops know the area better and they're better drivers, yes. so it doesn't take long to get the stolen vehicle back in sight. Cops are like prominent Uber drivers, taxi drivers. They know the whole city, bros. That girl is not getting away. Oh, there she goes. Don't call. Oh, she's swerving up. I'm trying to avoid her. 
Careful. Oh, there's too many cars. Oh, that was it, my boys. That's the end of the road. Yeah, like get, oh, oh. get charges for destroying police property. Yeah, Bling. Get the out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> he mad. He wants his car back. He wants his car back. What is it? Whoa. Get Come here. Get the the oh, we're gonna have to like blur some of this out, you guys. Just letting you know it's gonna be a little blurry. My boy, YouTube's like really hard on channels now, man. You show anything that people feel like they're getting like hurt or anything like that or distressed, like YouTube's like, let me the ads. Don't wanna pay. And that helps, man. You know, you understand, man. That helps pay some stuff. Oh, Light bill, internet. Do you know how many lives you just put in danger? Why you know well, would she do, do that, though? Yeah. I understand. She said, yeah. Unfortunately for us, there were no exciting chases or strategic maneuvers used to take Destiny down. She simply crashed into a parked car at over 80 miles per hour, wow. completely wrecking her new ride. Look at the, front, the, the, the whole front of that cop vehicle, bro. That was a car. Look at that in the back. Oh, that's some work, man. Multiple other vehicles also received damage from the event, and so wow. Destiny was That's charged dumb. with unlawfully driving a vehicle, stealing property worth over $20,000, and fleeing police in an automobile. She was sentenced to four years in prison. Wow, that's four years. She's going to have to think about what she did that day. Woo. Hopefully, in the four years, she starts studying for something. You know, you can learn stuff in prison and stuff like that, and changes her mindset and comes back out and uh, helps. <laughs> instead of fleeing with cop cars <laughs> having a patrol car oh. stolen from you must be one of the most surprising things that can happen it comes to a lawful in this situation it. where two cars were stolen from right under their noses in a row two? Be straight up embarrassing wow are you kidding me during the first pursuit the suspect was speeding down a public freeway and being chased by multiple cop cars all while somehow managing to evade multiple Ooh. this cop managed to put all his training to work look at that the escaping vehicle off the road almost instantly the wrecked patrol car is now surrounded by the police Pete maneuver but somehow not a single another cop, cop car saw this coming that you got to see hey y'all do not walk up on this car we got enough people up there God! oh he even looks like he's wearing this like he honestly from the view i thought he was another cop running out another police officer <laughs> he's dressed like confusedly so like them maybe it was just the blur camera or something we got another car but that's so bad bro that's so bad oh that is embarrassing yeah, let me tell you something, man. I mean, this is entertaining to watch. It's just, you know, it's just stuff that happens. We got to feel good, you know, and especially in days that we might not be feeling good at all. But if you like to play Grand Theft Auto, man, you know, that's good. Keep playing the game. Don't do this in real life. You steal all the police cars you can in that game. Do anything you want, man. But don't ever do this in, in real life because there is real consequences. <laughs> and you can't turn up the game and turn it back on. You feel me? Everyone's got eyes still north now. Somehow the escapee managed to run from the first crash patrol. I thought he was a police officer. Take over another one before putting his foot down and fleeing the scene once more. Another vehicle dealing with them. Lock your doors. Oh, they hit them with the spikes. My dude. Coco SUV. Coco SUV. In the shoulder right now. It's more up, bros. <laughs> the helicopter can keep up with it. I guess his tires are already slashed or something. He's still going. Thinking fast, the cops managed to radio ahead to set up a team with a stinger, a piece of police equipment that the punctures stinger. the tires of a vehicle and slowly brings them to a stop. That's why you can now start to see the car yeah. smoking. And, and the concrete enough, look forced to slow down or the driver will risk putting himself in a lot of danger oh, yeah of course uh, he's breaking for the medium guys he's breaking for the medium breaking for the medium everybody slow down don't fall up here 
They're gonna get them, boy. They got ain't, ain't no way you can get away. Come on, you can't get away when there's a chopper on top of you. All these police officers behind you. After coming to a safe stop, the driver exits the vehicle gun, and is apprehended too. by the cops. It's difficult to believe such a professional stop was made by the same cops that let him steal a patrol car from right under their <laughs> nose. But in the end, the stop was textbook. If you enjoy <laughs> that boy's probably gonna be like, yo, why are you in here for, man? I stole two police cars and I made them chase me, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's something to be proud of because you're going to prison, but... That it was kind of like bad. That was bad. Y'all let me know what you thought. What, what, what you thought? What you thought about these guys, man? You know, let's give a little silence to this first one that was not okay in his brain, thinking all kind of stuff. Ended up smashing into the eighteen wheeler and got first ride to the marsh or something. You feel me? Hey, you made it to the end. That's so cool. Now all I need you to do is hit the like button because it really helps this video out. Because YouTube will recommend it to the next person that's interested. If you want to watch the next video, you can start right here. Thank you for watching and have a good day. See you next time.